um, auto pay, auto pay. And uh, better luck next time. All right, well, that worked the way we wanted it to. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Discard. Always a fan favorite. Yes, it is. And a special type of discard this time. It is Riveteer's discard, but only just barely. We have one card with red and one card with green. That's it. Everything else is black. It really is a mono black. The slightest splash of red and green. So it is technically a Riveteer's, aka Jund. Um, <clears throat> but it really is a mono black discard using all the same notes. But bringing in a lot of new stuff and a lot of dangerous combos from pretty much every set. Um, and a lot of new things too. But before we get into the shakedown breakdown here, guys, before we get into the nuts and bolts of this one, uh, I need you to do something for me. Do you know what that is? Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button or else, well, guys, the like and subscribe will come and brutally, brutally maul you if you don't. I mean, the like and subscribe just will absolutely bruise you up. Look at that bruiser there. So make sure you hit the like button. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this one. Uh, and come join the villains. Hit that subscribe button for me. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash J for all the live streaming goodness, 11 to 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time every night. We would love to have you there. We have such a good time. Um, I'm going to be giving out some pack codes. I'm going to be giving out some free subs. Come on by. It's a great time for all. Uh, join us on our Discord community. We'd love to have you there as well for all the deck builds, news and information. Everything's there at the Discord. This deck and all the other ones that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. And of course, if you want to support the channel directly, you can of course become a member. You can become a channel member. Um, just hit that uh, join the channel button and uh, you can help support the channel directly and you'll get a sweet, uh, you'll get a uh, code for six free packs. So that's pretty cool too. Um, but that's all the announcements that I have. Let's get to this one. Let's get to the pain and suffering here. We're gonna really, we're gonna really make people hurt on this one, man. We mostly win through people scooping. Okay, so if you like that kind of thing, if you like just people giving up hope um, in the middle of the game, this is the one for you. Turn one to rest. Um, yes, that's what we do. Uh, turn one to rest. I love doing it. If you play a black mana, turn one, put down a swamp turn one and hit him with the duress sometimes people scoop immediately if they're a control mage and they can't stand to have their perfect hand messed with they don't want to show you their hand outright yes you can get turn one scoops just off hit this card alone it is pain do you see that guy just suspended by chains this what this card is um this is absolutely pain here guys um Reveal a non-creature, non-land card from it. Player discards that card. Do you know what I go for? I go for Planeswalkers and I go for Sweepers. Those white mages, those blue mages, get rid of them. Shambling Gas. We're going to need some ramp and we're going to need Sacrifice Fodder. Both are very important for this deck. And uh, she helps a lot in that regard. So you know she's a staple of my black decks now. Uh, she's going to be here. Deadly Dispute. Gotta have card draw. Gotta have ramp. Pretty much... Um, the base of any mono black deck is built on these two pillars. On these rocks, I shall build my church. Uh, zombies and sacrifice. Yes, the mono black staples of treasure and sacrifice for uh, more treasure and ramp. It's the new dark ritual. We don't have dark ritual anymore. If you're familiar with dark rituals, you paid one black mana and you got five black mana. It was unbelievably broken. And uh, I think it's banned now pretty much everywhere, but used to be just used to ramp out of, um, used to be able to ramp out of control for it. Um, thank you, Dark Source, for us. Sorry about that. I stopped it. Um, and uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Uh, thank you for telling me, though. And here we go with Extract the Truth. Uh, this is a new card from Capenna. Um, and uh, this is a new discard. Now, this is a little bit of a flexible discard. Um, 
This is a new flexible discard. What this does, this reveals their hand. You can choose a creature enchantment or planeswalker. Um, and what that means is that it's a little bit more flexible than duress because it's one more. Uh, and it also has the option of a target opponent sacrifices an enchantment. Why do I like this one? Because the prevalence of enchantments that you can force people to sacrifice. Uh, we're still running new enchantment decks. There's boards are loaded down with enchantments. Get rid of them. Uh, the the ability to get rid of planeswalkers and enchantments out of people's hands specifically is fantastic and it's only a common man extract the truth i think three of them is good because it's not a turn one like the rest but i think three and three is a nice compromise there we're gonna have other discard options as well but three and three is a nice split and this one is from capenna now uh infernal uh, grasp is what I uh, settled on for removal. I split the difference between Poison the Cup and Infernal Grasp. That's what I did there. Why did I do that? I said I wanted an instant removal that's faster, and I wanted a foretell removal with a scry ability. Now, you could pretty much slot in any kind of removal that you want here. Um, this one causes you two life, which can backfire occasionally, but sometimes you need to be able to throw off a cheap removal immediately. Poison the Cup does give you that scry ability, which is very nice, and it can foretell. A lot of times, having a card foretold can scare people off uh, for certain things. Um, they kind of know Poison the Cup is in the back there. So either way, you can really put your removal to taste in here. Really have four slots for removal. Now, an important part of this is going to be Graveyard Trespasser. You know I like this card. You know I use her a lot and in a lot of my different things. Why is she so important? Well, one, she's a 3-3 gain and drain for only one black and two. Uh, when she enters the battlefield... Uh, or attacks, exile up to one target card from a graveyard. If it's creature card is exiled this way, each opponent loses one life, you gain one life. Very nice. But we're really not going for damage in this. Again, our win con here is the loss of all hope. Uh, that's a pretty complicated win con, but how do we do that? She has a ward discard a card. So what does that mean? Our goal is to get the opponent to have no cards in their hand, meaning that they literally cannot empty the board. They have to discard a card to have any uh, chance of affecting her with any spell, okay? And when we have multiple of her out, it means they can only target one at a time. To get rid of two of her, they need to have potentially four cards in their hand at any one time. And when we're constantly hitting removal and we're constantly hitting discard, that is not going to be possible. Uh, and if we're constantly eating stuff out of the graveyard, if we're hitting recursion, we're hitting graveyard hate too, we're going to really just be ripping them up. We're just going to be destroying everything they brought to the board, discarding it, eating it up, discarding it, eating it up. Uh, we can feed creatures to the graveyard just to eat. Um, I did that specifically. Like I knew they were running a Toxroll deck because I opened up uh, with Extract the Truth. I saw it was Toxroll. I got rid of the Toxroll. I threw down my Graveyard Trespasser and ate the Toxroll because it was a Grixis Reanimator with Toxroll and the guy scooped because that was his play. That was his entire deck was to get Toxroll in the graveyard and kill me with it and then reanimate it. So you can kill somebody's win con. You can kill somebody's whole deck with that whole combo right there. Um, so watch out for that. Now, Ob Nixless, he's our red guy. He is really a discard card more than anything. Everybody likes his casualty ability, but I like him for his discard. Um, what do I like him with? This is the combo that I threw him in here to make this a Riveters. Damogoth Woe Eater. Why? Okay, take a look at this. So he has casualty 7. Um, if you sacrifice with casualty, it's power 7. Guess what Damogoth Woe Eater's power is? 7. Okay. And it's a demon, meaning that if it's on the board when Abenixilis comes to play, if you have another one, you can activate it if you control a demon or a devil. I really like this. You only need one extra green to do it. Then, what does this do? Also, whenever you sacrifice Damogoth Woe Eater, each opponent discards a card, you draw a card, and you gain two life. At the beginning of your upkeep, you have to sacrifice a creature. You can sacrifice Damogoth Woe Eater. Damogoth Woe Eater is a gorgeous card for any kind of discard uh, ability here. So it can serve multiple, multiple roles, being a gigantic blocker, an intimidating blocker, um... It gets you card draw, it gets you life, it discards, and it's sacrifice fodder for Obnixilis in case you have it on the board and you want to get a full 7 Obnixilis out and get a copy of a full 7 Obnixilis out and hit them with a negative 7 immediately. 
if you immediately want to hit them with a negative seven, which is brutal. That can usually end the game if you hit somebody with a negative seven, especially since they're um especially especially if you've already hit the game you're you're pretty deep in the game already damogoth can be fed a steady uh, diet of shambling gas so i'm not too worried about it um but that is really really fantastic uh to have that available and just sacrifice him just let him go he gives you card draw and he discards as he goes Obnixilis will give you steady discard steady discard or he will cause pain and he will cause them to lose life additionally we have junji the midnight sky here a little bit of resurrection action there um flying in menace five five with two black what does that mean when he dies each opponent discards two card and loses two life you seeing a theme here guys no matter what happens even if they kill our stuff they are going to discard cards they are going to be punished their hand is going to be punished or we put a target non-tar non-dragon creature from the graveyard onto the battlefield now that's any graveyard even theirs we lose two life so even if they are killing our big boys they are going to be discarding no matter who they kill if they kill um, if they kill Graveyard Trespasser, if they try to target her, they're going to discard a card. Damogoth, if they if, he, if it's sacrificed, they discard. If they kill him, it's discard. Guess what we have here? Tagrid. Uh, whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-token non permanent or discards an, uh, a permanent card, we put it under the battlefield. Now that, is, uh, now that is a combo they cannot recover from. Everything they're sacrificing, discarding, now becomes ours with Tagrid. Um, I prefer to call her Tagrid. Uh... We just get everything at that point. It's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, if we have Junji on the board with Tagrid, we hit Deadly Dispute on Junji. Two discard cards there for us. We hit Obnixilis or something like that. Or we use Obnixilis to sacrifice Junji. Then we get get him to discard two cards. Then we get Obnixilis to lose two life or he has to discard cards. And we get everything that they have. Terrible, terrible pain combos. This is what I'm talking about, that the loss of hope is the win, is the win con. When they realize that they're, they have never can keep a card in their hand and all the cards that they're hemorrhaging out and all the sacrifices that they're uh, making are just coming to us. Um, and even if they run board wipes, that even when they run board wipes, the stuff from the graveyard is immediately just going to come back to play under our control anyways. I mean, people just scoop. That's our win con is the loss of hope. That's what I'm talking about. Then, of course, Tegra's Lantum. They lose three life or unless they sacrifice a permanent or discard a card. And we can keep doing that as long as we have mana. Such a good pair with Obnixilis. Uh, and, of course, a fantastic pair with Tegrid herself. And, of course, we finish it off with the Westgate Regent, who is a more powerful version of the Graveyard Trespasser because he has the uh, Flying and Ward discard a card, meaning that it cannot be affected unless you discard a card to bust through that Ward. 4-4 four, four Flying, and it gets a 1-1 one, one counter every time it damages a creature, so it'll go 4-4 four, four to an 8-8 eight, eight, to a 16-16, get more and more powerful. Two Hive of the Eye Tyrants, five Swamps, two Mountains, two Forests, Four Blight Strife Pathways, four Dark Boars, two Crash Crowns, one Zytoros, and one World Tree. Throw a World Tree in there, that'll help you out a lot. Once you get four, you're pretty much good. Um, absolutely brutal. This is the loss of all hope, Tribal. Uh, 20 creatures, demons, dragons, gods, human spirits, vampires, werewolves, and zombies. Uh, a Rogue's Gallery. 23 um, lands altogether. Eight instants, six sorceries, three planeswalkers, riveteers. Pretty standard, stock standard stuff here really really amazing combos can go a lot of different directions and it just punishes people really the only downside to this one guys is that we can get aggroed out we are a little slow to start if we don't get our engine running by turn two or turn three and we really get aggroed out uh we can stall out but if we get a nice smooth draw and uh, they don't get started super quick we're gonna hurt them so that's the idea we can absolutely punish people we usually don't even, like I said, we don't win by going over the top. We win by the other person realizing what's happening and them just quitting. So, loss of hope tribal, let's get into it, boys. Leave a like, leave a comment, let's go. I've had this microphone for maybe, I got it a while ago. I started just on like a headset, you know. opponent goes first I'll keep it all right let's see if we can get some punishment out of this guy let's see what we got here I haven't got the turn one scoop yet 
Um, I haven't got the turn one scoop yet. I hope I can get the turn one scoop. That's generally my goal, is to get a turn one scoop out of these guys. Um, I have a uh, Tonar 777. was the highest rated and cheapest microphone on Amazon, and it's done me good. It's done me good, honestly. Um, I really do have to upgrade, though. I can't, uh, can't be out here, keep looking raggedy and shit. Alright, let's do this. Crack that guy open for the sweet juices inside of him. Alright, look at that. Alright, we do that. Let's take a look here. What do you got there? Uh, you don't need that. That's for suckers. Um, let me do that. Valkmira, very nice. Let's do that. Create a treasure. Alright. Search for glory. Hmm. He's got all those. Um, he could blood me. Well, he can't blood me yet, so let's do that. You had... Oh, you choke on some green. Three scoops in a row with your first turn to rest. I love me some first turn to rest scoops, man. I haven't got one in a while. I usually get probably about one out of ten. Probably about 1 out of 10 is a first turn to rest. Oh, he's playing another Valkmira. Okay, very cool. Um, we are going to play a... Um, we're going to play one of those. Let's, um, let's do one of that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Search for glory, very nice. For a legendary card. What is he looking for? He's looking for another blood maybe? Okay, my turn. Sacrifice. So let's take a look. What has he got in his graveyard? What do I got in my graveyard? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say each opponent discards two cards and loses two life. Thank you, sir. It's very nice of you to do that for me. I appreciate it. <clears throat> um, put that down there. All right. Do one of those. Carbango, wonderful. Uh, we put one of those down. Auto pay, fantastic. What do we got? We got anything good in there? What about my deck? Yeah, we'll have one. We'll have a delicious one of those. Tasty. Okay. Targeted removal. You got any targeted removal? Vanishing Burst. I'm sorry, buddy. That's going to be countered because you're going to have to discard a card. Ooh, yeah. I'm sorry, friend. It's going to be a big nope. It's going to be a big nope for me. I want to sacrifice her. Thank you. All right. Obnixilis. Um, we're going to do this. And then, of course, we're going to do the uh, the big swing in here. That's going to be the big uh, pop, pop. Of course, we're going to want to uh, put that many counters on it. And, of course, we're going to want to do that. Sacrifice creature with power of X. All right. 
a starting total loyal total of seven. All right, there you go. Discard, do that. And then, of course, we're going to want to make you lose seven life. And uh, thank you for playing. Um, resolve. Um, auto pay. Auto pay. And uh, better luck next time. All right. Well, that worked the way we wanted it to. That's the goal, guys. We want to get the ward creatures with discard out, and that way they don't work. If we can pull all their teeth, they're toothless. You know what I mean? They got no bite anymore, man. Um, that's the idea there. Uh, it's real tricky. You got to thread the needle with that one. Uh, but when you can get it out, when you can work it like that, bro... It's very, very effective. Even against that Orzhov control, he, he just could never get a hold on us. So that's the idea. Um, does it always work like that? Not always, but when it does, chef's kiss. So let's keep it going. Oh, hold on one second, guys. Got to bring something up here. There we go. All right. I'm going to bring that back for you. All right. That is not really a good opener. That's a better opener, but it's not great. Uh, keep, and we'll drop the Damagoth. Um, we'll drop the Damagoth. Okay, I'll do that. Good game. Okay. <laughs> do I play against followers? I do. I do occasionally do such a thing. Um, let me put down the Taurus Probing Ground. Uh, not frequently. What's up, King Spade? First time follower. Um, you got to build up the Dark Power, or uh, you could be a channel member. Uh, but I do. Never mind. Just saw him platinum ranked. <laughs> oh, you thought I was a you thought I was a big guy. Listen, man. I don't play meta. I play off meta and jank. Um, I uh, I don't really go for rank. Uh, I usually do p finish in mythic every season, generally speaking. Oh, I thought you were mad that I was platinum ranked. Uh, generally, people are upset that I'm platinum. Um, uh, I usually don't fly to mythic because, frankly, once you get to mythic, it gets boring. I try to end the season in mythic, but... Uh, no, man, I'll take it easy on you, bro. If you want to play me, I'll, I'm not going to fucking beat the shit out of you with a hyper deck. Uh, I'm not a monster, dude. Um, what do we got here? He's got Xander's Lounge. Du -du 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 -du. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> um, no, man, you save up, bro. Are uh, you subscribed to the channel? My dude, King Spade. Um... Uh, discard two cards and draw into two cards. Interesting. You're not sure if they're good or not? Well, dude, you're in the right place. We love to help new players here, man. Um, because, like I was saying, we're here to play fun and build fun decks. We are not here to go wide and get crazy. Um, so, uh, I would absolutely love to, uh, have you join us in that adventure um if you have amazon prime you can subscribe with uh like uh miss paradabo said you can subscribe with bezos bucks um all right let's do that
but uh, someone hit him with those links, man. If you want to come to the Discord, we can help build you. We can help. Uh, we can help your builds, man. We'd love. We'd love to help you build, man. We'd love to see you uh, grow as a player. You know, um, that'd be cool too, bro. What's he got here? Uh, Obnix Kirbozar. All right. Kirbozarg. What is Kirbozarg doing? Maestro's Charm. Okay, he's going to hit it for five. Kerbango, look at that. Nice hit right there. Beautiful hit. Tainted Indulgence, very nice. Resolve. Okay, my turn. All right. Damogoth Woe Eater. Um, so let's put down the Red Boy. Uh, let's put down the Woe Eater. Ah, uh, you just got to do this. He's probably trying to resurrect Toxrill. So let's get rid of that. Probably trying to res Toxrill. So let's eat that uh, right out of the graveyard there. All right. No resin Toxrill while I'm around. Baleful Mastery. Very nice use of Baleful Mastery there. Premium Baleful Mastery usage. Um... gonna have to eventually discard here um, and I'm gonna hit deadly dispute on graveyard trespasser if he tries to hit her uh, after the ward goes off always make sure you hit it after the ward goes off guys don't do it before um, okay let's do tainted indulgence all right. Okay, make sure that they pay the wart. Uh, yeah, it's just exclamation and the word. That's it. Make sure that, they pay the that is it. Um, yeah, just my turn. So green. We do that. He's got to discard a card here. He's got to discard a card here, or he's going to be in trouble. Okay, and apparently he just wants to lose the game. He just said, "I'm good, bro. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to play the game anymore, man. I'm good." Kerbango. Zero means you're dead, homie. Kerbogs. Kerb. Kerbozarg. Kerbozarg. Zero means you're dead, bro. Um. Holy God, we got nobody watching tonight. We got literally nobody here tonight. Interesting. Man, I fell off, man. I fell off. Oh, that makes me sad. All right, well, let's keep going either way. Hey, what's up, Face Dad Joe? At least you're here for me, Face Dad Joe. At least you're here for me. How come y'all didn't tell me about the echo? Oof, that's a bad hand. Uh, 
This is not good, but we're gonna go for it. Oof. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get. Oh, we'll see if we can. We can open with it. Um. He has a bad hand too, man. I'm liking it. I'm liking it, man. Uh, so far, I'm in, I'm enjoying myself. What's everybody else think? That's the real question. Let's grab something else out of his hand. Wow, he's got nothing, bro. Uh, he's got absolute jack shit, bro. All right, well. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. I didn't have anything either, man, but... Um, Homie had nothing there, bro. Oh. Your deck works around Gloom Shaker, Graveyard, Trespasser, and Binding the Old Guns. Yeah, I mean, that's the trick. I mean, that's the name of the game nowadays, literally. Um, uh, that's, that's, that's literally the name of the game is beating out control. Um... Okay, opponent goes first. I like this. I can hit two back-to-back -back discards. Maybe we can get the turn one scoop. Maybe we can get the turn one scoop. I'm, I'm hoping for a turn one scoop tonight, guys. I feel like I can get a turn one scoop. Feel like I can get it, man. Angels are probably going to get top tier, uh, to be perfectly honest. Angels are probably going to get top billing, in my opinion. That's probably what's going to be that's going to be the deck to beat. Ban aggro, I mean, if you can aggro angels if you know what you're doing, and if you're going to run them, you can run a mono white angels that, that, that has some real early plays, you can do a cleric angels hybrid that is just, I mean, that just chews through people, man, like, and it's like that meme with Senator Armstrong where they're just punching you and you're just taking it because... You can just, I mean, you can get to like 50 life by like turn six or something like that, you know? And you can just get to a ridiculous, absurd level, like, you know? Um, hey, look, it's Dark Sorcerer.
Is that the astrologer one? Kumano faces Kakazan. Reconfigure, very nice. Um, you think I won't get this shit killed? Got me fucked up. Let's do that. Elspeth is very powerful. I think nobody's even really played with Elspeth in Alchemy because I think people crapped on Alchemy, but um, Elspeth combined with uh, Inquisitor Captain is probably probably like an auto win combo. Four damage. All right, let's get Junji Ito on the board. Junji Ito, do your thing, man. Let's foretell it. Next. No attacks and turn. Duress. I don't need any of that. Block that. I could bring back his own stuff. No, I couldn't. All right, next that. No attacks. And turn. One dragon against the world. Indeed. Indeed.com. I put down a red mana. The problem is, is my life right now. I don't have a lot of life to play with. I really could use my Damogoth Woe Eater because that's going to build me life and discard and card draw. Um, uh, if he's smart, he'll put that rabbit battery on Kiki Jiki. Ooh. 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 Double blades. Okay. All right. Okay, respect. What else do I got in here? I got nothing in mind. So, um Junji Is it worth killing him and then he gets all that crap again? 
or is it worth blocking and deadly disputing? Yeah, it's worth blocking and then deadly disputing. Um... cards I need cards yeah Westgate region okay okay that's a ton of mana there we go okay now we're now we're thinking with portals here um now we're thinking with portals here Westgate region and Turgrid um Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. What are we going to have to do here? Turgrid is four. We don't have enough mana. So what do we have to do to block everything? We're going to have to do a Westgate Regent. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be a tough one to thread the needle on, boys. Don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I don't think he even realizes he has those Den of the Bugbears there. Let's hope that he stays stupid. He's so fixated on his own. Yeah, he doesn't even realize that he can do that. He didn't realize he can do that. He's going to copy that. That didn't make any sense. That made zero sense at all. Why do that? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? Homie, what are you doing, homie? Dude's like going out of his way to lose this. Oh no, I think he's got me no matter what here. He just wants to use Kiki Jiki to say he did. Apparently, yeah. So if I do two, I gotta kill two. He's gotta spread it out, so I'm gonna lose two life no matter what. Yeah, I think he's got me. That's a good one, man. Um, we do that. And then we kill that one. And then I'm dead no matter what. Nice one. Nice one, yeah. He could have just attacked with the den of the bugbear and not worried about it, but he did it in the most convoluted way possible. Yeah, the problem was was the life there. We didn't get it out, and we had, unfortunately, the kill card that was uh, going to cost us life, um, which was uh, our instant. But sometimes you need an instant kill, and sometimes you don't. Um, but we hit a little bit of a mana pocket, but that's okay. Um Mono red aggro is not a great matchup for us uh, because we are a bit of a mid range slower deck. Um, but still, not too bad, I want to say. It's not a bad, not a bad hand age. We haven't even got Tegrid into the mix yet. We haven't even got Tegrid into the mix. So, ooh, another mono red. Let's see if we can open up with the banger. Let's see if we can get the scoop, the instant scoop. Um, Ranger class. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. We don't need that. Good. Hello. Alright, let's do this. Alright, what's he gonna put down? Pack song. Use the old pack song. Alright. So never forget that duress gives you something more than a discard. 
it gives you the ability to see that he's got these in his hand. So we know he's got a Tamiyo Safekeeping. So uh, if he's got a green mana, he has a protection card, guys. So it is a tactical advantage uh, alongside a boosting, alongside of a discard. So never forget that, guys. Um, it is more than just a simple discard ability. Being able to completely see everything that they're going into the game with is a ridiculous advantage. Uh, okay, there's Hollow Pack Piper. All right, put that on there. Swing in. Come on, swing in. No, you're not going to swing into me. Um, all right. Hollow Pack. Yeah, we got to get rid of Hollow Pack while we have the chance. We got it. Hollow Pack puts everybody onto the board. Uh, let's do that. And we'll do that. Yeah, we need more mana. All right. Yeah, it's it really is a tactical advantage. He's going to hold back. He's going to play that. Let's play Graveyard Trespasser. So I know he has this guy. Okay, I know he has... Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, I could have grabbed two of them. Oh, there's not two really to grab. So I know he has this, but he has to discard a card to do, and he only has three cards in his hand. I also have an Extract the Truth. Um, so we can get to the point. Yeah, Piper is way, way, way a dangerous card. Yeah, because of, because of, exactly, because of Averbach, stuff like that. Um, Averbach is, is extremely dangerous. Look at that. Okay, so I have to cast two spells here. No, I don't really. Let's do that. Uh, well, I needed at least one green mana there. Let's do this then. Alright. No attacks, yeah. Swinging in. We'll just block that one. Okay, so now we can put down a treasure token. Infernal Grasp. So I really do have to cast two spells because i got to be able to put down two thingies here. So let's put down... Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. My graveyard, one of those. Opponent's graveyard, one of those. And then, of course, we will hit... Extract the Truth. Auto pay. So you got to be able to cast two spells to turn him back. Otherwise, we'll never uh, we'll never be able to uh, undo this damage here. Unbreak my heart, say you love me again. There you go. He put down that mana automatically, and the only way he can affect the grave, hit the uh, snow, is to put down the discard for the safekeeping. But that'll kill me. Oof. 
16. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oof, that Averbach, man. Averbach is dangerous, man. Missed the Damagoth Woe Eater. Didn't have the green mana, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, did not have the green mana in the back end. Oof, 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 oof. Close one. Good, good deck. I like to see Werewolf still running, man. I mean, it's an older deck, but uh, I like to see people still giving it a fair shake. Um, but Averbach, bro. I, when Averbach's down, I mean, that is a dangerous fucking card. Absolutely. I mean, I... People people don't run that card in green enough, man. People think that's just like a werewolf only card. That is a dangerous card, bro. Windora bugs. So did you guys hear about the bands today? How about you what do you think about those bands? this deck fuck me i don't even want to play this i just want to scoop right now man fuck i hate this fucking deck dude oh my god dude i hate this fucking deck holy shit man this is the just the biggest fucking dickhead deck in the world man yeah, I don't even want to fucking play this. I don't even want to fucking run this out, man. Holy fuck, dude. This fucking sucks. Well, maybe we'll, uh... Maybe we'll get somewhere with it, I don't know. It's just nothing but fucking exile and sweepers. Yeah, I mean, Winota was completely overbearing his, uh, the, uh, it was completely controlling Explorer. Winota was a busted card, I mean, Winota was a busted card from, from Jump Street, dude. To, let's be honest, Winota was busted, it's always been busted, um... It's always going to be busted. There's, there's, there's no situation where Winota is a fucking fair card. It, that situation doesn't exist. Sorry. There's just there's not a situation where Winota is a fucking fair card. Oh, if you look at the top million cards of your deck, if any one of them is a fucking creature, you get to fucking put the creature on the board, attacking tapped, invulnerable, with haste, trample, and... Oh my god, this dude quit. Wow. Okay. I'll take it, dude. That card, Winota, they might as well have just printed that commander only, man. That's what that was intended for. They might as well just go retroactively. Um, they might as well retroactively just say, Winota, that's a commander card. You can use it as a commander. It's not for any other deck kind of build. That's what it's for. It's for commander builds. You can make her your commander. That's what it's for. She's OP as fuck. Enjoy it. But you're not supposed to fucking have four of her in your deck. You know? I don't know. I think she's OP for commander, to be perfectly honest. But. I can't believe that mono white exile guy quit on me, dude. Some people do not like getting discarded. Uh, this is actually pretty decent. It's actually pretty decent here. Um, you could 
you could nerf Winota once and still she'd be OP. That's how bad she is. You could take one thing out of Winota. You need to nerf her twice to get her down to the right to a right to correct power level. That's how bad she is. In my opinion. You would need to take two things out of her card. You would need to raise her price and take something else. Take you would need to fix two things about her, is what I'm saying. You couldn't just change one thing. You would need to change two things about her. Yeah. There's some people that if you fuck up their hand, they, they can't stand it. They lose their mind. Um... Oh, look, Runaway Trash Bond. That's a good one. Uh, Damogoth. A lot of people don't even re read Damogoth Woe Eater. They just look at it and they go, oh, that's a big card. I'm going to quit the game. Um, that's really funny. I've had that happen. They go, 7 6 on turn 3. I mean, on turn 4, fuck that. And they, they scoop too. Uh, which is kind of funny, because they don't even they don't realize that if I don't have a if I don't have a sacrifice fodder, that it, it dies immediately. Um, he might push it back to my hand, which is a waste of his card to do two damage. That's not worth it. Um, so let's do this. Let's do Junji. Four damage and three damage. I hope you do because I'm gonna discard every single card in that pretty little hand of yours, man. I'm gonna discard every single card in that pretty little hand of yours, bro. Come on, let's get it out. Let's get it all out, man. Yes, that's it. That's it. Yes. Yes. Every card in that hand is going. Oh, they're all going bye-bye. Do I dare eat a peach? Enthusiastic, whoever. Enthusiastic, Mechonaut. He's a funny guy. Enthusiastic, Mechonaut. Oh, no, don't swing him in. He's going to get hurt if he goes in. Treasure token. Excellent. Westgate Regent. Wonderful. Uh oh. Bit of a conundrum here, aren't we? Bit of a conundrum. Deadly dispute. Very nice. So we put down the. Do we put down the Demogoth or do we put down the Ob? I think we got to put down the, we could deadly on that treasure, 
Demogoth. If we had one more mana, we could ob the Demogoth. Um, let's swing in first. And see what happens. Let's do that first, yeah. Yeah, let's bring in that. Let's bring in that guy. Yeah, this guy is not in good shape. I'm gonna reconfigure. What are you gonna do, man? Can't target the Westgate. I'm sorry. It can't be done. Can't be done, man. Can't be done. Can't target the Westgate. You gotta discard a card to target the Westgate. Sacrifice. Um, let's sacrifice it now. Discard that card for me. Each opponent discards a card. Thank you for getting rid of that. Thank you for the life. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. All right. Now we're dealing with business here. Okay. Now what do we want? And Jathrock got the message there that you were never going to get rid of anything. All right, Jathrock. Thank you for uh, uh, thank you for getting the signal there. All right, guys. Um, how's about a little bit of uh, how about a little bit of that uh, old time discard hand hate control there, man? Yeah, that's what we like there. I like to see the suffering. I like to kill them softly. I like to see the light go out of their eyes when they realize. There's no way they can get past this. Very nice. Good plays. Good game. Um, few of them we got out aggroed, but this is a mid-range, and it is fun. I had a blast doing these. So, um, classic discard goodness here. Uh, leave, a, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Until next time, guys. I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. The word of the day is doom.